Jim Jordan started the day with high hopes. Thank you all for coming. But it quickly went downhill as he lost a third vote for House Speaker. Speaker has not been elected. Still, he was game to make another run. We're going to try. But a secret ballot among his fellow Republicans put an end to that. And so we put the question to him, they made a different decision. One of the hardline congressman's biggest supporters and chief architect of the bid to oust the former House Speaker was quick to blame more establishment Republicans. This was tr truly swamp tactics on display to knife someone that the American people wanted to do you think? While the man who 17 days ago lost the gavel lamented the chaos. We are in a very bad position as a party. Jordan's brief candidacy has only deepened the bitter divide within the GOP caucus. By Friday evening, more than half a dozen names echoing through these halls as possible nominees. The party's plan is to somehow land on one in a secret Tuesday vote who stands a chance to get the gavel. Hopes met with skepticism by some. It is possible that just exhaustion will uh, will set in and the Republicans will agree on something on, on one person. Um, but, you know, there, there are also members who are enjoying this. Democrats also benefiting politically from the GOP's inability to govern itself. Welcome to month 10 of the House Republican majority's chaos, dysfunction and extremism. With no speaker, there's no path for the House to pass President Biden's $105 billion pledge for military and humanitarian aid for Israel, Gaza and Ukraine, leaving allies in the lurch. The collateral damage of an internal House war. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Toronto.